guess who showed up? <laughs> My mom. I am having a very bad day. I am in no mood. What? What? And you got to be kidding me. Hi guys and welcome back to Wako's Review, the only Nigerian YouTuber that has a bicycle. So if you want to ride on it, yeah. Pause, that's not what I meant. But if you want to ride the bicycle, please subscribe, turn on post notifications so you'll be notified of when I post. Like this video, please. Alright, rolling through. The Men's Club will forever be a show that will remain dear to my heart. The thing I love the most about the show is how relatable the characters are written for this exact show. Larry is written to represent a guy that makes mistakes. Lewis is written as the person who cares less but deep down cares. Tayo is written as the softest out of the group. And for Amino, this is where Red TV went like, that's enough relatability. You will never have his money. So usually when I do my reviews, I pick each character and I talk about how they shaped the episodes. And today I'm going to be starting with Lan Ray. You see the rhyme? Today Lan Ray. I should rap. The show started with Lan Ray talking to a babe and I think that is Mrs. Lawson. Do you remember her? What did you say? That I am in love with you. <laughs> I'm at the end this man's whole career. You know when girls say men are scum and all they know how to do is cheat? I've always been that one person. That one guy that would say that's a lie, not all men cheat. I was wrong. Can you imagine that just seconds later, just after he ended the call, his spider sense is still tingling. Still tingling like, ooh. Because of this lady over here. She was drinking her wine and then wanted one more glass. And he was like, nah, bartender, give her a bottle. And he went ahead to say this. Yeah, and, and put it on my tab. Sorry, I don't understand. Who was going to pay for it before? Was it not you that told the bartender to give me a bottle? Why am I the one paying? He stayed behind to talk with her and they unlocked a new level of flirting. To me, flirting has always been romantic. I'm a man for romance. When I want to flirt with a girl, I ask her questions like, them, how was your night? <laughs> Have you eaten? When I ask you if you've eaten, it means I need you beside my bed. Like, you need to be my bed. I don't ask that question randomly. They get cozy. He, he was looking at her with one, um, I don't know, predatorial kind of like look. Huh? And they later on eventually went to a hotel room that was spacious. As soon as he touched her, she noticed that he was new to this one night stand thing and he was just trying to play a role like every guy does. And she found it cute. That was her first mistake. Then they had coitus, co co coitus, cotosis. I don't know how to pronounce this thing, but I'm not going to call it this thing. And this was her second mistake. Be counting with me. He then woke up the next day. You see, this was her third mistake. You allowed him wake up. As soon as he slept off, stab him. Why I'm saying this is because you don't know this Larry guy. He has a track record of falling in love in the most unlikeliest situation. And I don't blame him because she actually fits his recommendations when he's looking for a partner. She's older than him, she's smarter than him, more mature. And yes, the most important thing, she's married. If she wasn't married, we all know this thing is not gonna happen. <laughs> Aminu is a fool. Yes. Why did I say so? There's no reason. But I have one reason now. And please don't say it's a thing of passion. Do you have anything in mind? No, nothing. Just get out. Who are you? Who are you to do that to my jazzo? My jasmine. My jazzy. My babe. He actually dislikes her and his only concern is his child. He's still doing what he knows best in the show, that is going for business meetings and flying on his own private helicopter that we did not see him in. And you know Nigerians, we have to see. All I just saw was a video of a heli helicopter. I can, I can do the same. This is my helicopter. This is 10 of my helicopters now. This is 40. I don't know where I'll find 40 pictures of helicopters, but yeah, this is 40. But he's just doing his daily routine for a man that wants to cripple our economy. <laughs> oh, but one thing that is abnormal in his life is his new assistant. Damn, man. I mean, I'm not saying you should use your power for evil, but if she's interested in upgrading her life, I, I think you should help her out. I saw the way you were looking at her with that hunger in your face, like you had that hunger in your face. I looked at her the same way, I was here like... Mm. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> 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 
This is the part I say it's a joke. He still has this hatred for his half brother, and now that his father has finally acknowledged him, it's more than hatred. It's anarchy. I don't know the meaning of anarchy, but I just believe if there's a word that comes after hatred, it's going to be that word, anarchy. Yeah. yeah, man. What am I gonna say? I can't believe it. Okay. I can't believe what I'm seeing. I love this scene because of how short tempered Aminu got. It is so relatable that I'll give it a dead ass caption. When the jello fries finishes at the party and the woman says, Do you want white rice? The only legacy you know is sabotage. What does that have to do? Don't, with don't interrupt. Get out. Get out of my office. Get out. That is one character that everyone tries to pity. We felt for him so much in season 1 that we all as a collective wanted him to cheat on his wife. In season 2, he took all our trust and he threw it down a pit. He opened a mini hotel in Larry's house. And in season 3, he has changed. He has a babe and we are very happy about it because both of them are going strong. I was hoping we could have your bad taste. Okay. <laughs> We like those, we like those. I found this part so funny because he hit his head on her leg. <laughs> I know you're about to count on me, but guys, see, I'm not that versatile when it comes to these things, but one thing I know is this should not happen. It should be like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that. That's that good stuff. The gist of the matter is today is his birthday and his girlfriend that is a perfect example of that phrase you've heard before. You should act your age. She shouts a lot. She whines a lot. She's babyish a lot. She kicks a lot. But he loves her that way and that's all that matters. And she's also planning a big birthday party for him. It ended badly guys. I hope you're using your headphones because I don't think of people who don't use their headphones to watch my videos. This is now like an ASMR video. Send me money, please. Louis is still in this confusing relationship with his ex. She will never, I mean it, she will never let him go. In the previous season, she has allowed him sleep with other women. She's the kind of babe that would probably tweet this thing, and other women would be like, nah, God forbid, I will never allow my man to sleep with other women. Never. <laughs> <laughs> and she has also allowed him to exploit her family's wealth. Now, for the first time, she wants something from him. And he was like, nah, you are crazy. I'm not giving you my home. I'm not giving you, get out of here, leave. But I don't blame Louis. Apparently, he doesn't have money. But he still dresses well because this is Lagos. Remember, the soil was built on thickness. They had a serious conversation on who should have the house. She was like, I want it. He was like, no, me and Lola needs the house because we want to start our family and eventually I'm pregnant. What the hell was that? At the end of the episode, they surprised Tayo, they danced a little bit, poured drinks in this one's mouth. <laughs> this babe was not having it at all. Then they started talking about their lives and Larry was like bragging about how he likes other women and how the older the berry, the sweeter the jewels. Then it turned out that the lady he slept with was Lola's mom. Do not attach any association of this to me whatsoever. I have nothing to do with such idiocy, such blasphemy. Watching this episode gave me joy, not because of the views I'm about to get after I upload this video and give it that questionable title. <laughs> no, <laughs> but I liked it because it brought back characters that we've loved. I actually did not like this scene because I felt it was too long, um, but generally I, I liked this episode. My expectations are Aminu will have an affair with this babe because if he doesn't, I will. This one is done for. At this point, we are all just waiting for how deep he can dig that his graveyard. And I am also so anxious to see what happens to Lewis and his ex. That baby came at the wrong time. So drop down your expectations down below in the comment section. And yeah, did you guys see that? Uh, they only call when they think they need me. Or probably when they see someone that sounds like me on TV. Nah, they don't believe I swear to second guessing. I'm still a young boy. It shocked you. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to Rocco's View. This is the person behind the vlog. I look crazy. I know. I know. I know. She's beautiful. Beauty. In the bands. Model. My friend sent me this and I was like, maybe I should make it in. So if you're interested, 
send in a video of you maybe doing my intro yeah doing my intro and i would use it in my next videos so send send my instagram or my twitter or my email address everything is linked below thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this video um also please check out the song i used at the outro the name of the artist is maxida i like that name because he's just short and he's intimidating a little bit so check him out the question of the day is have you ever been in a physical fight if yes did you win so yeah thank you guys for watching um i've wasted you guys time you know, so I'm not going to elongate this thing. So, um, yeah. Show your friend, at least, I beg. I'm sweating. I, and I always tell you guys when I'm sweating. I'm sweating. Alright, bye, bye. <laughs> I did this all for us.